Hello, and thank you for joining us for a Made in Texas interview series where we speak with Texas filmmakers about their projects and their Texas connections. Today, we have Alexander Rosales, writer-director of the short film Tejano Night. Alex, thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. I'm very honored and excited to be here. It's my first interview. Well, we're <laughs> honored and excited to have you here. Why don't you start with telling us a little bit about the project and the story behind it? I saw a pattern of like my cohorts really, um, really thinking about identity. I, f I felt like it was a no brainer. Like that was sort of the topic that I wanted to do. And so once I sh once I made the decision, I was like, all right, I want to tell a story about identity. Um, I just started really thinking about you know. <laughs> Asking myself like uh, the existential questions like who am I, you know, yeah. so I just took on a project that would allow me to really try and figure out like and answer that question. It's really it's a coming of age story about just wrestling with your own identity and just acceptance basically to your long therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and I, I, uh, I finished it, submitted it, you know, and it's out in the world now, which is really cool. How do you think that Texas has influenced you as a filmmaker or has it influenced you as a filmmaker? There is a lot of freedom to, I think, do a lot of things that I felt feel like you probably won't have the opportunity to do in like Los Angeles or New York. Mm -hmm. And there is sort of like a scrappy sort of attitude uh, or approach when it comes to the topic of filmmaking. And for me as a writer director, that is sort of the playground that I need to be in. Uh, can you talk a little bit about working here in Austin? Did you work with local cast and crew or what was your experience like here? Yeah, um, everybody here, everybody that was on the film was local at the time, except for I think one actor who was, who was already in LA. And obviously representation is a really important topic for me. So I just, I felt like I did what I think needed to be done, which is I reached out to an organization here in Austin, is the Austin Tejano Music Coalition. I mentioned them because they like introduced me to a lot of the artists that we feature in the, in the film, and they also uh, recommended the bar to us. One of the one of the dancers at the end of the film is is a member, and um, one day I went to like an event that they were having, and I saw her just start dancing, and I was like, oh my gosh. Like it's infectious. Like yeah. she was, she was just affecting everyone around her in a way that I felt like reminded me of the experience that really influenced the story where I just saw dancers dance and I was just mesmerized by them. I just pulled from the community and that happens to be located here in Austin. And I'm really standing on their, standing on their shoulders. Awesome. Well, I got a filmmaking question for you now. Sure. So the cinematography in the film is gorgeous. Uh, start to finish and you have this um, tone and this texture that you've captured throughout and I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about how you managed to uh, capture that in the work you did with your director of photography on this. I think the secret to shooting anything that looks really beautiful is just hire someone who's just like so much more talented than you in that aspect and I had a really great cinematographer named Alonso Lupin. We just sat down like and just talked about it. We met up uh, pretty frequently. We toward this, the, the bar where the film is shot and just kind of let that speak to us and just sort of inform a lot of like, what is this gonna be? I really wanted for a long time to really use sort of those colors and that color palette and didn't really have a way to like creatively justify it. And then this, this idea, this project came along and we just sort of let the music sort of influence us. And uh, yeah, we are also really proud to represent Tejano, Tejano music in this film. How can our viewers uh, keep up with you? Do you have anything, any handles you want to plug? Yeah, I, uh, my, my Instagram is rosales.film. My website is rosales.film. Tahano Night has its own Instagram and social media, at Tahano Night or at Tahano Night Film. And I'm doing another film right now, which is my UT grad thesis called Search and Destroy. You can find that at searchdestroy.film uh, most places. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, Alexander, thank you so much for coming down and spending this time with us. Thank you for making your film here in Texas. Yeah, thank you guys for having me. Thank you so much. Absolutely, yeah. First you did it. Dude, Good job, man. So